Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our topic of discussion, classification two. Uh, we are going to discuss the five classes of the phylum codata. So the main classes of phylum codata which we introduced in our previous uh, lesson. So we have the following classes within the uh, phylum codata. We have class pieces whereby we have the, the various types of fishes. We have class amphibia. We have the amphibians there. Class reptilia. We have the reptiles. Class aves, where we have the birds. And then finally we have class mammalia where we have the mammals. So those are the five classes of phylum uh, codata uh, that we shall be uh, discussing. So we'll start with the first class and this is class pieces. class pieces and here we have all the types of fishes and basically the fish can be classified into two. There is what we call the bony fish and there is the cartilaginous fish. For the bony fish, those are the fish uh, that their bodies are mainly uh, supported by the skeleton that is made of bone. For example, the tilapia the Nile patch and all that. They have the bone as part of their skeleton, hence are referred to as bony fish. We also have what we call the cartilaginous fish and the cartilaginous fish are those that have the cartilage as the support framework. For example, the shark. So a cartilage is softer than the bone and is more flexible. So we are saying that here we have bony fish, e.g. tilapia, uh, we have Nile patch, lungfish, etc. and cartilaginous fish. Cartilaginous fish, e.g. the shark. So the characteristics the characteristics of uh, the class pieces One thing about the fish is that uh, their bodies are covered with scales. Their bodies are covered with scales which overlap backwards. And of course the scales overlap backwards so that they can be able to move smoothly within the water. 
uh, they also have fins for locomotion. We have the different types of fins in the fish for locomotion. They have gills for gaseous exchange. They have a lateral line for detecting vibrations in the water. Have a lateral line that helps to detect vibrations in the water. They have segments of muscle blocks attached to the skeleton. For locomotion to ease the movement. Uh, the fish are ectothermic, or you can say poikilothermic. And when you talk of ectothermic or poikilothermic, uh, their body temperature depends on the temperature of the surroundings. So we say that they are ectothermic. Ecto means external. Ectothermic or poikilothermic. That is their body temperature depends on the temperature of the surroundings. The fish have no external they have no external or middle ear. They have no external or middle ear. And of course, we have said that they have a, a lateral line, and they usually use the lateral line to uh, detect the vibrations that are, are taking place in the water. And that's for sensitivity uh, purposes. So you'll have a diagram of the fish. Showing the various parts. So we have the various fins, that's the dorsal fin, the caudal fin, anal fin, there is the pelvic fin, there is the pectoral fin, Covering the gills, we have the operculum. We have the mouth. The eye. So basically we have the scales as well. And generally these are the parts of a fish. A bony fish. A bony fish, e.g., the Nile patch. 
So all those structures that we have mentioned in our description, the scales overlapping backwards to ease the movement in water, the various types of fins for the various kinds of locomotion. Uh, we have the lateral line, uh, the one that runs through the center. So that is the lateral line. We have the operculum uh, that covers the gills and prevents them from being damaged mechanically. So we'll have an assignment on that. So the assignment, draw a well-labeled diagram of a bony fish. And number two, state five distinguishing features of class pieces. Five distinguishing features that are not in another class as far as the class pieces is concerned. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.